why all the really strange departure times? You ever look at one of these monitors and go, there's a flight at 5.11, there's one at 5.13, there's 5.18, 5.25. Why don't they just have them on the hour, or, you know, 15 after, 30 after? Well, they used to back in the old days, and it was a disaster. Everybody wanted to push back at 2 o'clock. So guess what? There's 10 airplanes all calling to push back at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And guess what happened? Some didn't push back until 2.06 or 2.07 or 2.09. So what happened was the FAA got involved and said, look, instead of all these delays on the ramp or getting somebody airborne and then having to hold them and burn up all of that fuel or divert someplace else because we didn't think about this ahead of time, they started staggering all of the departure time. So they doled it out to all the airlines and said, look, you guys can't build a schedule where everybody leaves at two or everybody leaves at three. We're going to give you slot times to get off. It's really helped a lot. It, it's still congested out there, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be in the old days. When was the last time you held for a long time? It's been a long time since you've done that. Now, you might have sat on the ground at your departure airport, and that's by design so that you don't hold and burn a bunch of fuel and waste a bunch of time airborne. Now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Don't go yet. Do me a favor. Become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share, and subscribe.